I'm Melissa Hamilton and I'm a first soloist with the Royal Ballet Company in Covent Garden, London and I'm originally from County Down. It was never something that I aspired to. I didn't know you could have a career in classical ballet. I was doing ballet as a hobby basis, as I think the majority of people do in Northern Ireland, and didn't know there was this huge, unbelievable world of ballet out there that you could have a career in. And it wasn't until I was 13 and I did a summer school in Aberdeen and I met people who did this full-time. They were at full-time ballet schools and I suddenly was opened up to this prospect of something that I could maybe do with my life. Um, so I was very, very late in getting into it in relative terms to my colleagues. It was then a battle to try and catch up, but I managed to do that and I'm now a first soloist with the Royal Ballet Company, which is one of the most reputable companies in the world. And I have an amazing career and an amazing life. I didn't know what the Bolshoi was. I had no idea the sort of ballet existed. Um, I, I saw every now and again a company in the Grand Opera House, but I didn't know, I, I had no full understanding or appreciation for it. So the fact that it has come to Belfast, I mean, it's going to get people talking, and I hope anyway, and an interest. Within the rough setting, with a, in the kind of the decay, the old, the you see the beauty, you see the delicacy, and it's like the ballet world as well. I mean, behind the scenes, it's a completely different world that we live in day to day to what the audience comes and sees on stage. They come in to see the art form, to appreciate the beauty, to, to see a story kind of unfold in front of them. They don't see the day to day, the rough, the grind, the, the wear and tear that we go through on a daily basis. So I think it's extremely fitting that it's in such a scenario like this because the ballet world, it's not all tutus and tiaras. It, it's real, it's hard work, it's graft, but it's worth it. For Belfast to have costumes like this from such far a field to suddenly be uh, in one place in Belfast is just, it's amazing. For people to see the intricate detail close up um, I mean, we're looking at history um, and the people that have worn these, the, the productions that have been danced on, the stage that they've been danced in, it's, it's heritage. 